Welcome to a brand new series that challenges the very fabric of tradition within the church. Hello Saints and welcome to a new series called Commands versus Traditions. I'm thrilled to be doing the series with you guys and we're going to be diving deep into the age-old question. What takes precedence? God's commandment or human traditions? We're going to explore really controversial subjects and we're not going to have any limits. We're gonna, just going to dive into the scriptures and look at the different traditions that overshadow God's commandments. See, traditions can be a very beautiful thing. Our family, we hold traditions. Traditions can bring in a sense of community, a sense of commonality, where we share things in common, certain values. But also on the flip side, traditions can keep us from obeying the Word of God. And we can hold traditions higher than the commandments of God. And even in some circles, traditions can be received as revelation from God, where if people don't obey these traditions, they're seen as being rebellion in rebellion towards God. So what happens when traditions start to contradict the Word of God? What happens when traditions keep us from obeying the Word of God? Even worse, what happens if we hold these traditions so strictly, but God is no longer pleased with us? Mark 7 verses 5 to 9, it says, The Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat their bread with impure hands? And he said to them, Rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. Or in other words, teaching the doctrines of men as if the commandments of God. Verse 8, Neglecting the commandment of God, he will hold to the tradition of men. He was also saying to them, you are experts at setting aside the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. So these Pharisees, they were holding on to their tradition. And by holding on to their tradition, they were not obeying the Word of God. And that is what we're here to uncover. What traditions are we holding that we shouldn't be holding, that are really affecting our faith, that are keeping us from obeying the Word of God? And what traditions are good and they're fine, and we can actually keep them? And we're really going to weigh this by the scriptures. The goal is not to say this church is wrong or you're doing this wrong. The heart of this series is to challenge the status quo by asking tough questions. We ultimately want to align ourselves with the Word of God because in this way we can please our Father in heaven. Not my Father, not your Father, but our Father. And we can simply obey Him and not be as hypocrites like the Pharisees were who put aside the commandment of God to keep their own traditions. So join me on this journey as we explore these topics and come back to the pure, undefiled Word of God.